Fifteen years ago today, while South Korea was in a celebratory mood hosting the World Cup and the home team making history, North Korean naval forces launched an attack after crossing the de facto sea border. A special ceremony was held to honor the sailors who gave their lives defending the nation. Kim Hyun Bin was there. On June 29, 2002, two North Korean naval ships crossed the northern limit line, separating the two Koreas. North Korea suddenly opened fire on a South Korean patrol boat, which was on a routine mission near the NLL. After a devastating exchange, the North Korean ships were heavily damaged, and more than 30 North Koreans are believed to have been killed or wounded. On the South Korean side, six sailors lost their lives, and 19 others were wounded. That skirmish is called the Second Battle of Yongpyeong. And to commemorate that day, a ceremony was held at the Second Fleet Command in Pyeongtaek, Gyeonggi-do Province, on Thursday. Through this ceremony, I hope that Koreans will always remember the fallen heroes of the Second Battle of Yongpyeong. The ceremony also has a special meaning for sailors, as a skirmish has proven that North Korea could attack at any given moment, and that South Korea sailors need to be ready at all times. We will try and follow our predecessors' fighting spirit to help secure our western sea borders. South Korea's Navy on Thursday also appointed the fathers of the six deceased sailors as honorary captains of the six warships named after their sons, and hope their spirit will enhance the South Korean Navy in years to come. Our sons have sacrificed their lives, but their spirit will live on through the warships named after them. Since the incident, I believe our son's spirits have enhanced our Navy and just hope that this continues in years to come. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.